everybody doing today? Thank you so much for being here. Can we all just agree that it's like awesome to just be able to like be out, right? After all the craziness. So um, I wanna thank first and foremost, um, Allison. She did such a great job putting this event together. Can we all agree on that? Let's give her a round of applause. Because honestly, like she really killed it, so. Anyways, my name is Heather Mariana, and I am the CEO and creator of Beauty Kitchen. I'm also the chairwoman of a soon-to-be public company called Mariana Naturals in Canada. And I am actually the woman behind a lot of celebrity brands, including Vanessa Simmons. I do her Sugar Me line, uh, Christina DeBarge, we do her skincare. Tons of reality stars. We've been at the Emmys, Oscars, Globes, you name it. Jared Leto uses our stuff. Tons of people, but I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to talk about where the real money is at, right? Because that's what we all care about, right? And how to bridge the gap that I found between manufacturing and brands, and how I found that gap, and how I made that gap work for me, and how it could work for you guys. So can I ask who here is in manufacturing? Is anybody here in manufacturing? Okay, cool. Anybody here brands? Okay, cool. Pretty good mix. Okay. Um, white labeling has allowed me to scale my business to heights that I never really thought were going to be possible. And because of that, um, nine years ago, I was in my garage just a girl wanting to have her own skincare brand right and i wanted to have a manufacturer but guess what just like a lot of other girls and people who want to start brands that you i couldn't you, the minimums are crazy right can we can we all agree on that like i'm sorry but if i want to start a brand and i want to have four products i don't want to sit around with twenty thousand units in my garage right you don't know what's going to sell you might think uh, you have the best idea for the best freaking body oil in the whole world. And guess what? Nobody likes the way it smells. Then you got 20,000 things in your garage, right? So let's talk about how to bridge this gap between manufacturers and brands and how we can bring people together and start working together and how I did it and how I've helped a lot of people build their brands, okay? And maximize profits, right? For everybody, because it's a win-win situation. It really is. So how many people do you guys think, think about starting a skincare brand every day? How many do you think? Million? I don't know. There's 7.8 billion people in the world. 7.8 billion possible customers for all of us, right? How many people do you guys think out of that number have called a manufacturer and they were just so depleted and just like, oh, I'm never gonna be able to do this, right? I was there nine years ago in my garage. And they're like, how am I gonna pay for 5,000 units and I don't know where to get a label. I don't know how to do all this stuff, right? So then they just don't ever do their idea. I want you guys to remember this word, okay? Because it's very important, partnership, okay? So I was one of those people, like I said, in my garage and I was like, oh my God, like I just, I'm not gonna be able to do these minimums, it's crazy. So guess what I did? I started my own factories and manufacturing. And over the last uh, nine years, I've built three of them. And I'm very proud of that, and I have a great staff. Thank you for all you do. <laughs> and she's pretty awesome. <laughs> so because of that gap that I realized happened to me, I have been able to maximize, like I said, that gap and bridge it by helping other people build their brands. And so there are a few rules that I would like to tell manufacturers here and how it benefits manufacturing and brands, right? Lower your minimums. Come on, guys. Like I said, nobody can afford 5,000 units, or not everybody can. So I don't do minimums. So 
let's say you come to me, right? And you're like, I want to do this uh, lotion. And I'm like, okay, you know, 5,000 units. Can't do it, okay? We, we beat that horse to death. So I, if I'm, I'm, I'm going to let you order, like, say, 50, right? Guess what? You're going to work hard. You're going to work hard. You're going to work hard. And guess what your next order might be with me? 500? Guess what? You might end up on QVC selling 2 million. And if I was the manufacturer that passed you over and I saw you on QVC, I'd probably be kicking myself. Like, damn, I could have got that order, right? And when you... Sorry, I'm looking at my notes, guys. <laughs> when you lower minimums and you work with people, it allows you to grow with the brand. You know, like... Becoming that manufacturing partner, like I said, the word partner, because you can help them in so many ways. And we're going to get to that next. You want to help your clients with purchase orders and all kinds of things. Rule number two, I think for a manufacturer, and to be a great manufacturer, and I, I, I call myself a great manufacturer because I know I am, is you should always provide all services that you think your client's going to need, okay? So let me tell you a little story. I get a, referred a lot of clients, okay? And uh, earlier this year, I got referred a client. They had an existing product line. They wanted to add to their product line. That's great. I do that all the time. I said, great, send me your stuff. I want to try it. I want to see what you got, you know, what your branding's like, all that jazz. And I was watching a movie. And I thought, you know what? I'm just going to put all of this stuff all over my body. I'll try it. <laughs> I woke up the next day. I looked like Daffy Duck. I was completely swollen. I mean, my lips were so huge. And I, we can all agree my lips are a little big already. So you can imagine how big they were. So I had to go get steroid shot and all that stuff. So I called them and I said, I want to see your COA. You know, like, I want to see your, your certificates from who made this for you. They're like, what's that? I'm like, excuse me? Who are you dealing with? And this is a problem that I, I see a lot with people. And I was like, um, okay, so that's not okay. It's not, right? No. So as a good manufacturer, you should always provide everything for your client and stay the step ahead. You should have your COAs. You should have your testing. You should have everything. Every product that comes out of my factory, it's already done and ready, whether we sell it or not. You know, because not everything's a winner. We all know that. And, it, and it's all ready. And everything's ready. So send a sample, send the COA, send everything. And also, um, you should stay, with staying ahead of that stuff, um, to mention our Canadian company, um, I had to spend about six months before we even sold one thing doing health code canada i don't know if you guys are any of, are any of you guys from canada oh that's like getting approved by the fda it's really hard but you know what i'm ready to white label in canada now and i've got all my paperwork ready so if any client calls me in canada and they want to white label any of my stuff we're ready to go we're health code approved which is a pretty big deal and rule number three that i like to talk about is I don't sell my formulas. You can make the best face mask in the world, okay? Even in your kitchen like I was making stuff. And if nobody's buying it or nobody knows about it, it's literally just a legend on your own face. <laughs> so a lot of manufacturers, not only do they have these large minimums, they charge you all these fees to use their formulas or buy formulas, and I don't do that. Because guess what? You can resell the same stuff over and over to different client, and it doesn't matter. Because I'm gonna tell you right now, you're gonna go to Sephora, you're gonna see 18 variations of the same thing, and I am not the only girl in America that sells a watermelon scrub, you know? So there's lots of room in the market. Remember, 7.8 billion people. And the reason that you can do that is because I work with each, each of my clients individually and everybody's an individual person. I don't know who your friends are. I don't know who your friends are. 
and I don't know what you're, what, who you're going to market to. So you can take that same product and market it. I mean, we, we could all agree there's a lot of similar people here, right? Okay, so who your brand? I know you. So can you just, uh, do you want to talk a little bit about... Um, yeah, so she's one of my brands that I help. So if you want to just... Oh, you can feel free to brag about me all you want. I'm just kidding. I was working three years trying to find a manufacturer. And everything, like Heather said, they wanted like crazy amount of money, and I was a single mom. I was like, this is ridiculous. So I just kept networking, networking, and I ran into Heather, and she made it happen. Thanks, guys. I launched since April. Yes, and she is doing her first big festival. Yes, this month. And it's a wine festival, so because of the way I work with brands and, again, being a great manufacturer, not just a good one, uh, we came up with a great, she came up with a great idea and we executed it for her for a wine line of scraps. Yes. Um, actually, my creative technician her came creative up with the idea. Technician. <laughs> So, um, I know I was supposed to go probably for 30 minutes. I don't think I'm going to make it, but does anybody have any questions? Yes. You have a question? No? What type of services do you offer to your white label customers? You're building, you're building your own brand to, to help separate you from any other white label manufacturers. That's a great, great question. Thank you. Um, I do have some paperwork here if anybody wants it. Um, I do not only manufacturing, and if you want to just straight come to me and get some product, uh, we offer, not only do we offer graphic design, we have an amazing graphic design team. We can do your labeling. All we need is your logo. We offer completely retail-ready products, but I also do a lot of coaching. So if you want to start a brand like Melody did and join the beauty, Build Your Beauty Brand program and... You can, I'll coach you with how to wholesale, what your pricing should be, um, how to get into pop-up shops. I mean, it's all, I mean, just everything. One-on-one -on -one coaching with me directly, and I think that differentiates me. But I also think it dif I'm different because I actually really care, and I don't really think people are numbers, and let's go back to that thing with partnership. You know, um, I'm not looking at invoices all day. I'm looking at, like, okay, I, I believe in you, and I think you're going to, I think you're going to do great because... Nine years ago when I was in my garage and I was sitting there, I never thought I'd be the chairwoman of a public company, right? Pretty cool, I think, to start in my garage. So anybody can do it, right? Okay, guys, so thank you for coming. I really appreciate it. If you have any more questions, please stop by my booth 610. Um, I have my cards here. They do have my personal cell phone number on it. And when I say this, I truly mean it. Feel free to text message me. I don't answer my phone because I get those, your car warranty uh, is out, uh, calls all day long. So um, if you text me, I will reply. And my email is on there as well. And anything I can do with, to help any of you, any questions, come by, email me, call me. I truly believe that. Okay? Thanks, guys.